But the thing is, Rhiannon falls in love with her, with him, with A. <laughs> hey everyone! So today I am going to be reviewing Another Day by David Levithan. It comes out today actually, so it's perfect timing. I got this as an advanced reader's copy at BookCon and I am so glad that I did because I had no idea David Levithan was coming out with a companion book to Every Day, which was one of my favorite books in high school. I adored it so much. It was such an interesting concept. I actually had written a review in my school newspaper for it when I read that book initially because I loved it so much and I had so many feelings. And that's the same way I feel about this book, which is why I wanted to review it. And it's also a great beach read. I read the whole book on the beach, by the way, which is like, another fantastic thing about this. It's like an easy read. It's not like too getting too much into the ethical dilemmas. It's a light read even though it has complex issues in it, which I love. If you haven't read Every Day, it's about this entity named A who uh, is in a different person's body every single day, which is why it's called Every Day, and um, A falls in love with a girl Rhiannon, who has to learn about this entity named A, and she falls in love with A too, and it's a bittersweet, lovely story that encompasses, you know, David Levithan's usual themes of like gender and sexuality, but also just like a sort of magical realism element that I love so much. So yes, this is a companion book to Every Day. It is not a sequel, and it is in Rhiannon's perspective. So it's the same events that happen in Every Day, but from Rhiannon's perspective, and I loved Rhiannon's perspective so much because um, in Every Day, she seems a little bit like a Manic Pixie Dream Girl because A just like falls in love with her the minute he like meets her. Uh, I don't want the minute they meet her. I'm not, A's pronouns are ambiguous for a reason, so I don't want to say he. When A meets her, um, A falls in love with her, like, like love at first sight and everything. Rhiannon falls in love with A as well, but she is an actual person with a life and a boyfriend outside of this and she isn't as excited as I was about the sexuality part of it and being in a different body and a different gender every day which is really interesting to read because it is really uncomfortable for some people because they just aren't attracted to a certain gender and that's just how it's gonna be so when she falls in love with A, she has to deal with the fact that A is going to be in a female body sometimes and in a male body sometimes and the the people that A is taking over for the day, they have different personalities and they do different things and A has to deal with the fact that he's taking over someone else's body, which you see a lot of in every day, but also in another day, because you see Rhiannon's perspective on the whole thing and how she feels about the fact that A is not only gender ambiguous, but also a morally ambiguous thing that she is falling for. And as a teenager falling in love for the first time, maybe, it's really hard for her to come to terms with the fact that the person she thinks she's falling in love with isn't who they say they are. And but also outside of A, I love that Rhiannon gets her own personality in this so much. Rhiannon does have her own personality in every day, but it's every day as is this is told in first person, so it really gives you a narrow view of Rhiannon. So this is really great because it just makes her so complex and interesting and it gives her outside interests outside of A and like it just tells and it's just a very relatable book that way because you're seeing it kind of through or at least I saw it through the eyes of like what if I was going through all of this like how would I feel and she's also dealing with a boyfriend she's not sure she's in love with 
and it's just such an interesting book and I adore it. I highly recommend it. I don't think you need to read every day to understand this book, but it is a good idea to read it. I read it two years ago and I haven't read it since. And then I read this and I fell in love with the storyline and I fell in love with the universe all over again. But I feel like this book is really telling of like who you are when you're in high school when everything is changing so rapidly. In high school you really have to like figure out who's gonna be there for you and in this book it's the person who's there for her is someone who is changing constantly so it's really difficult for her and I love that dilemma. I love Rhiannon. She has such a great personality. She's so interesting because she thinks she deserves a less a subpar relationship and she learns that she doesn't deserve that but also it's that she learns that she deserves more out of everything and everyone and she deserves a another chance at being awesome which she is another day i tried to tie in the title and it didn't really work it's just so good i don't want to spoil it but it does follow the same plot line as every day coming back to this universe after two years for me was really good because it didn't feel like repetitive or anything so i don't know how it would feel if i read every day now that i've read this book again because I don't know how repetitive it would feel, but I feel like it wouldn't because it's two completely different perspectives. I would love to read it one chapter of this, one chapter of that, and like alternate between the books and see how that goes. There's so many ways to read these two books because they take place over the same timeline, and I just love that so much. Um, this is a great book. I highly recommend it, obviously. I love David Levithan. I've loved a lot of what he's written, and his book, well, his half his book is what got me into Nerd by Daria in the first place. So I love David Levithan. I love this book so much. And you all should go out and buy it right now because it is in stores today. It just came out and you all should read it. That is it for this book review. Um, if you want to see more book reviews, uh, click the subscribe button. Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you thought of this book if you've read it already. And if you haven't, go and read it and tell me what you thought. If you've read every day, I'd love to know your thoughts on it. But that is it for this video. I will see you all next time. Bye. And also, how beautiful is this cover?